Welcome back to Loyal TV. This week, we are back in OKC to learn about the brave men who served in the 45th Infantry. Well, the 45th Infantry Division was uh, formed in 1923 and was originally made up of elements of the National Guard of four states, Oklahoma, Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona. So they were referred to as the Thunderbird Division because of the patch. The patch has four sides because initially, the division was made up of National Guards from four states. The color of the patch, red and yellow, from the flag of Spain to represent the very large Hispanic population in the region. And of course, a Native American symbol to represent the inordinately large population of Native Americans in the division. Many, many Native Americans still serve in the Oklahoma National Guard. Well, 45th Infantry was, Division was 511 days in combat during the Second World War. They made their initial introduction into combat in Sicily in 1943 and their combat capabilities there, their success in battle was so noteworthy that when hostilities had ended on the island of Sicily, none other than George Patton himself, who commanded the armies, got in front of the 45th Infantry Division and he gave a speech. And in that speech he said, and I quote, born at sea, baptized in blood, your fame shall never die. The 45th Infantry Division is one of the best, if not the best division in the history of American arms. Now that's from a man who knew his history. The 7th United States Army had successfully penetrated the Vosges Mountains, which had never been done in human history. Not even uh, Julius Caesar had penetrated the Vosges Mountains. 45th Infantry Division was spearheading the 7th Army's advance south towards Munich. They were advancing on really an unknown target. They did not know it was a concentration camp, as we all understand concentration camps today. All the colonel knew was that there was a German military installation in the flank and it had to be uh, dealt with. They entered the camp at the, at the railway uh, siding and fought their way through what the Germans called the Kommandantur, where the, the Germans uh, had their officers in their billets, uh, finally entering into the camp itself. The scene was horrendous. It was, um, it was a very, very hard day for the soldier of the 157, and of course, every soldier in, uh, in every regiment of the division that went into that camp to secure it uh, for the next couple of days uh, went away affected in such ways that they never really got over. The uh, 45th Infantry Division got its mobilization orders in September of 1950, after which point in time in December, they were injected into what's called the Jamestown Line. They landed at Inchon and they moved into the peninsula during its uh, about nine months in the theater. The 45th Division saw action in places called Old Baldy, Alligator Jaws, T-Bone, The Punch Bowl. By the time the 45th Division gets to Korea, the war of movement is long since over, and the war of attrition had begun. This is probably the worst kind of warfare you can engage in. It's not about securing strategic pieces of ground which might make the enemy have to get up and move to another location as it was in, uh, in World War II. Uh, here it was a slugfest. The two armies lined up along the Chorwan Valley and uh, there they just made it their business to see how many of the enemy they could kill. Uh, the idea being that a, a communist regime can stand up and sacrifice more lives longer than a democracy. And um, it came pretty close to being true. The transport General McRae docks in New York, bearing the 45th Division, famed in World War II and Korea as the Thunderbird. It's been a long 20 months since the men have set foot on American soil, and loved ones from all over America converge on New York to welcome the 1st Division to be returned in its entirety since the Korean truce. There are reunions and some new acquaintances made as Daddy meets a new arrival. There is so much uh, about the, the 45th Infantry Division. Uh, we could spend a week 
talking about them. We could go into to painful detail. It's important for people to realize that our liberties, our freedoms have been secured by their neighbors and their friends um, since the creation of the country. 45th Infantry Division formed in 1923 has seen the state's sons and now the state's sons and daughters go to the defense of our nation repeatedly. Uh, and those, those men and women, uh, the sacrifice that they have made in their time, the treasure and their blood needs to always be remembered. Uh, I hope that uh, those of you who can will come spend a little bit of time here at the 45th Infantry Division Museum and perhaps come away with a better appreciation uh, of what has been done uh, so that we can live the, the freedom and, and the liberty and lives we live today. We hope you take time to appreciate the great sacrifice the people of the 45th Infantry gave, not only to Oklahoma, but to our country as well. Join us next week as we bring you the best Oklahoma stories you've never heard here on Loyal TV.